Hey everybody, welcome to the video. I just want to say that we're all surrounded by abundance. Even this chocolate thing. It's a raw chocolate brownie or tiffin. <clears throat> we're all surrounded by abundance everywhere. I think the native Indians or other people used to say, certain spiritual teachers, that we all have more than we need to be happy. We all have enough to be happy in this present moment. If you consider this little piece of chocolate, I think there's there's dried fig, there's just a cacao tree, so I thank the cacao chocolate farmers in probably South America. There's grapes, which is like a dried raisin. There's, there's chocolate butter. And I don't really know what else there is, but we all have enough to be happy. And, uh, Let's let this pass by. Take a picture of man. Hey, what time is it? Uh, I'm not sure really. Oh, half three. Half you know ten. We're seeing a lovely shot. Half ten. Park, the swans. Yeah? Yeah. Why are you taking pictures off there, mate? Just a road, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah. But no. no, I was actually making a video about my chocolate. Are you serious, man? Yeah. It's just a lovely... Uh, Strong weed, is it? <laughs> Talked with cannabis oil infused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's living in Palermo at the moment. Are you living up there? Yeah? Where are you living? Uh, sure. oh, what's up with Palermo? Yeah, I also found oh, yeah? yeah? Cool. I yeah. found a new there for six hours. I just see you taking the pictures, man. What's the story? Oh, yeah. What, what's what? he up to? <laughs> no, no, not in a bad way. No, just or a guy. Like, why are you taking pictures of the road, like? The guy is stalking you or something. <laughs> You never know. Lucky. It's a nice old pink view though, isn't it? Like? Ah, it's absolutely lovely. It's an old street or something, isn't it? Like, yeah. Gaff, see. It's gorgeous. So yeah, just like quickly to finish off, because I was talking, they were chatting with me and I was talking with them for like around five minutes. They're really nice people, those two guys from close by where I live, somewhere up there. But yeah, I just wanted to say, you know, we all have enough, we have the fresh air, we have our noses. We, we take granted often the sun, which is like our father, the sun gives us food, it's like, in a way it's a bit like, not trying to sound weird, but it's a bit like the sperm and mud earth is like the egg, mud earth receives, and with the sun and the earth, and the, and the air is part of the, the Gaia, so the sun is the name of a star, a big ball of flames, and with the sun, which is a being of consciousness itself, coming and giving its life force, its energy, to the earth, Gaia, which is a living being as well, on all the air and waterways, the rivers, the oceans. <sighs> the raindrops, the earth, and all of the ground and land and terrain. So when you combine all of the four elements, you get life and it's beautiful and you get our food like we often take our food for granted but how does it grow it grows from the plants or if you if you happen to eat animals that they eat the plants so it comes from the basic food chain from the earth like our father the sun and the mother the earth combined and we have the body that we have our gift our holy body temple which most of us don't treat very well I've heard people say, you know, people treat their cars better than their body temple. And that's a little bit of a shame in some ways, but only if you really want to have have higher experience on earth. The better you treat your body temple and your life, the, the greater you exercise self-love with healthy boundaries. But also respect the boundaries and practice love of others. Along with a clean or cleansing, detoxifying your body temple, make it clean and pristine and healthy and happy, unobstructed, nourishing good quality food, and you eat in gratitude and pay homage and respect to the farmers and the humans and the animals and the insects, the nature who are part of the food chain, which come into you getting your food and, and in your wrapper, you know? It's like we take it so for granted. Years ago, you'd never have something from all different parts of the world all in one little neat, tidy package for you to buy in a shop. We take, humans often take the most, the most simplest and basic, yet the most profound things for granted. And the, the fundamental most profound thing is the fact that you're alive. You are life itself. And we are part of God. We are God's source energy. 
we are a living being of consciousness or awareness i'm just using different words but this is the fundamental because without without the experience of life you couldn't experience gaia or the sun or the manifested universe you are the living awareness consciousness being to begin with i mean people forget that it's like you're living all your life in the sea soon you forget about it it's like the fish in the river or the sea analogy but an even analogy i'll give to you now is we think that we're in an empty space going around and the cars and the houses are the big physical objects but we're actually living in a sea of air everybody because air has resistance you know when when birds fly and airplanes fly it's because they're cutting through the density of the air water just happens to be thicker than air but air has its density and thickness or lightness as well so we're like, it's like we're living in a sea, we're land, we're living on a land sea and it's called air and we're wade, wading through it and so without the life being that we are we couldn't experience all of this and I don't know guys, come on, like even our bodies, like I hope that we, we can all treat it a bit better this year and that's one of my goals anyway. Life is really truly precious, special and sacred. I think it's a whole, it's a body, mind, spirit thing, you know, if you, if you don't look after your body, you'll lose points of wellness, if you don't look after your heart, you'll lose points and wellness of your well-being, and if you don't look after your, your spiritual side, your inspiration, your well-being, your, your calling, your purpose, your passion, your talents, your gifts, I put all them into the spiritual aspect, the deeper meaningful aspect, the higher energy aspect and they make us feel emotionally well and stay mentally inspired and stay mentally clear and tune into your heart and balance it all together but you really do have to look after your body too and I say that because most people watching my channel are what you say spiritual just to use that word but they do definitely they don't know much about health or cleansing like proper real health and fitness 